For this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mini zine template using Pages on a Mac. So you want to launch Pages. You want Blank Landscape and click the Create button. If you do not see a panel on the right, which I just call the panel on the right, notice the buttons right here. Turn that panel off and on. And there are two different buttons. We want the Document button. Turn off header, turn off footer, turn off document body. And you want to click convert. What you've just done is told it that we want to create a layout. We just want a blank piece of paper. We don't want text frames. We don't want it to act like a word processor at this point. The next thing we're going to do is place some rectangles on this page, represent the eight pages that are needed for a mini zine. So we click the shape button, choose a square, and over here we want to change from the document pane to the format pane, and go to arrange. We're going to type in the size of a page, which is 2.75 by 4.25. Then we're going to go to Style, the Style button here, and we're going to change the color of that shape to a pale gray. I am going to change my page size here because I'm trying to shoot and include every aspect of this window. I want to see this at 100%, so there's my entire page. And I'm going to drag this down to the very corner. Notice the white handlebars mean this is a selectable object. I'm going to use Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and I simply drag that page up and repeat. One more. And now I have the pages shown here are placeholders. The next thing I want to add is some text. So I click the text button. It always creates a text frame right in the middle. On a mini zine, this right here is page one. So that's going to be the title page. I drag this text frame to resize it. And just a hint, you don't want to go too close to the edges in case your printer does not print exactly edge to edge. So. I'm going to take my text here and I'm going to put my zine title. Select it. And we want to make it bold. We want to make it bigger. And we want it centered. Okay, so here's our title page. I want to think about what type of text I want to use most often in the body or in the bulk of this little zine. So when I create the text frame, I'm going to place it in a position that I think I'm going to use most often. So for me, I write a lot of little storybooks with half picture, half text. And I like my text to be size 10. So I go to the Format, Text, change it right here. I also like to have 0.8 worth of space after each paragraph. And notice, if you don't know anything about paragraph styles, uh, just understand that we can control how the text is going to look anytime we type on the page using something called a, a style. The body style is the one I use most often. I made changes to the body style that was the default here, but I want it to do my thing. I want my 10 points and my 8 points after, so I simply tell the template I want to update the body style use the style that I want. Then I just type in my text. This is page 2, size 10 text. Okay, now I can copy and paste this as many times as I need. I like to have my 
books with text at the bottom of one page, then at the top of the next. Remember, these are upside down. So we go from bottom to top to bottom to top. Now, we need to rotate because all of these pages are supposed to be upside down. So we go to the Arrange, and we simply make sure that a text frame is selected, and type in 180 degrees, hit the Return. So, our text is in place. Next we want to add pictures. To add a picture, insert, choose, and I like to just have a, an image, a gray placeholder image. You could just put any picture you wanted in here for a placeholder. So we're going to insert it. It's going to come in really large, and I'm going to resize it by simply by dragging the corner. I want a picture at the top of the first page, and I want to line this up with the placeholder that shows us the size of the page. I want this picture to fill it. Now this picture goes a little bit more than halfway down and this is the size uh, of the image I took. I just took a screenshot of my desktop. In order to change the size of a picture holder, we double click and we drag a handlebar up a little bit or down or in or out. So here is the size of where a picture can go and before I put pictures on the other pages, I need to tell this shape to convert itself into something that can receive a picture. So I go to Format, Advanced, Define as Media Placeholder. Otherwise, when I bring pictures in, they're going to come onto the page enormous. So define, and notice the little icon. So at this point, I can copy and paste and reuse my placeholder. So I'm going to fill all the other pages. Format, Advanced, Create Master from Current Page. And that's going to place it over here. And I'm going to click Done. Okay, time to save this file as a template. File, Save as Template, and I could save this to my desktop and use it from my desktop, but I also might want to consider adding it to the Template Chooser. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the Template Chooser so you can always find it. Notice I've done this quite a few times, been practicing, and I can give this any name that I want, a name like that, okay? And I'm going to tell it to Create.